Daisy. You're a good girl. Look at that face. <laughs> you fuck me. But you. You feel good boy. What's that big guy? This is my big boy. My three legged monster. That's right. Oh, we're so talkative. What is going on, YouTube? One on the X, I'm here. Welcome to the channel. And today, we have the V4S Street Fighter and the V2 Panigale. Ah, oh, man. Such great bikes. I know I was only able to ride them for a short amount of time, but I was able to get a decent impression about each one of them. So, for the V4R Street Fighter, I'm going to put the information up right here for the specs. And then for the V2 Panigale, here are the specs for that. So, enjoy the video. Alrighty. 2020 V4 Ducati Street Fighter Ass. I'll tell you what, it's got fucking heated grips. A Ducati that isn't a touring bike has heated grips. How fucking cool is that? Although it doesn't really matter here in Arizona because it is real hot. I'll tell you what, the seating position of this is phenomenal. It is so comfortable. Uh oh, chin strap. Ah, uh, never fails. Always one. I can't believe I'm only a uh, comfortable Ducati. It's a phrase that's seldom used. I love the lope of this thing. This thing's got a great sound to it when it's at low idle. It's crazy because, you know, it's still V4, but it sounds totally different. The seat, oh man, I cannot get over how good the seat is. Quick shifter obviously is good. Just like the other rides, this is going to be a little quick five miler. Nothing crazy. Working mechanically. I, I swear this sounds um, more bassy, more throaty than the, the Panigale does, which is interesting. So, the monsters uh, that Ducati makes. I, I wasn't a huge fan of them because of the, how aggressive forward they were for something that's supposed to be a more comfortable bike. This is still kind of aggressive, uh, but not in the sense that it's a super bike. You know, it's, it's sitting to what it's supposed to be. There it is. There it is. We're good. Acceleration is very linear, very predictable. I like the control you feel with these high rise clip ons. These are very nice. I'm just glad I finally got the chance to ride this bad boy. Look at that soundtrack. It's so nice. So bassy. It's just bassy. It's I dig it. I dig the way this thing sounds. Oh, don't ruin the fun. Don't ruin the fun. <laughs> Love that hill. It makes your stomach go. Oh man, she gets up and fucking goes. It's impressive. Ew. Like this should have done a wheelie just then but it doesn't this front is very planted front end feels very good on this motorcycle very 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 good so again this is a very short ride on this bike but it's very comfortable it's very smooth the power delivery is phenomenal it's very, it's, it feels linear easy it's a solid motorcycle to try out if you're looking for a naked bike all right 2020 v4 
V2. It's a 959. how she feels i wasn't a huge fan of the 959 on the road Let's see if the v2 is any better now i love that they put a smaller um version of the v4 dash on here Ooh. that's right don't you dare pull out thank you for seeing us It doesn't like fifth gear to be lower than 60 miles an hour which means it doesn't like sixth gear to be lower than 60 or 70 so it's definitely a twin which means the 64th and fifth gear feels about right she's got to have revs much like the 959 did but not quite as bad the 959 required uh, like third gear and fourth gear whereas the fifth this isn't too bad I'll tell you what though pretty comfortable Ugh, suspension's a little hard suspension's a little on the hard side coming from that to this is a good bit more stiff rightfully so the throttle or in race mode is definitely a little twitchy but not too bad Seems like there's a dead spot there. Get to the power band. Yeah. Four or five thousand RPM, fourth gear, 60 miles an hour. Uh, it's not in the power band apparently. <laughs> so, you know, much like the 959, you gotta rev it. It's the V2, it's a twin, it's gotta be revved for it to really see it show its colors to you. you gotta remember the Oh, she's still fast. Uh, you know, the 959 was never a slow bike. And what's cool is the power isn't overwhelming. It's not gonna wad up on, wad the chassis up on you. It's not gonna, I guess, scare you the same way the 1199, 1299, V4 can. It's a good bike. Again, you know, it's only a short five mile trek, so it's not really, giving me a good and full impression of this thing but for what it feels like it's a it's a more comfortable alternative to a v4 it's not as harsh it's not as hardcore as far as the throttle response goes it's that it's that good step up from a 600 or if you have an 899 a good improvement over that as far as it being much different than the 959, uh, I can say it's a little bit better. I, I want to say it's a huge improvement, but it is a little bit smoother, a little bit better. Man, what a day. I can't thank Bob and then the whole crew at Onimoto enough for allowing this opportunity to happen and thinking of me to do these rides. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. And I hope you all enjoy some of these videos I put out here. I had a lot of fun doing them. My initial impressions of the V4 Street Fighter is it had really, really good low and mid-range torque. Something that you really don't get out of the Panigales because you got to rev them a little bit higher. But ah, so streetable. It feels so good. It's very comfortable. The handlebars are wide, so you got a really good leverage to them. It was just a solid machine, and it was very surprising. You know, to say you're on a comfortable Ducati. It's almost an oxymoron, except for the V4 Street Fighter. It was definitely my favorite bike of the ones I got to ride that day. The V2 Panigale, it still has the twitchiness that the 959 had. Not as bad, but it still needs more revs. It's still a twin, It's which is kind of refreshing in a, in a sense because I've gotten rid of my twin bikes, so 
to have that again is something nice, but for the street is too picky, it's too twitchy, and it's a little too hardcore for the streets still. I mean, you can do it, and I mean, I did it with 1199 and 1299, but that bike is really geared for the track, and I think people are gonna love it in that setting more so than the street. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I wish I had more time on them, but for the ride that I got, you know, I am very appreciative of On Any Moto Power Sports for allowing me to take those bikes out and really, you know, get a good impression of them. With that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out.